فعاش القلب إخلاصا وصرت تحومك الطير تحلق في ثقافات وتنهل من روبا الخير Let's look from a purely worldly aspect. How does Salah bless you? How is Salah blessing you from a worldly aspect? Now, if you go to the worldly benefit, Salah is spaced out in such a beautiful way. Such a beautiful way. One, early in the morning, just before the sun rises. So you are up. As a Muslim, you are up. The non-Muslim doctors tell you early to bed, early to rise makes a man healthy, wealthy and wise. That's an English saying. So we are taught early to bed and early to rise is your duty as a Muslim. Allah automatically wants to make you healthy, wealthy and wise. Subhanallah for free. If you are going to live Islam, what time will you get up? Can you be a person who's going to get up 11 in the morning when everyone's already at work? No, if you're a Muslim, one of the blessings of Salah is you are up on time. When you're up on time, you get your children up on time. Mashallah, you read your Fajr Salah. You might sit for a while with your Quran. You might say a few good words to your family members. And then you, you probably will have breakfast together. Something light, your tea, whatever you have together. Today, the world is weeping and crying because families are disintegrating. Everyone is on his own computer, locked in his own room. No one talks to each other. Father goes to work early morning. Mother's gone somewhere else. Children gone to school. And you know, the house is now split. You're a Muslim. You get up early. Mashallah, you spend the beginning of the day with Allah and then with your family. You've had the cup of tea. Even if it took you five minutes, the blessing of Salah is you will see your children. How are you, my darling? How are you doing, my little boy, my little daughter? I really love you. Today you are going, make a dua for me. Let me make a dua for you. This is a beautiful environment in a Muslim home, which is lost in a lot of homes. It's lost. Our children are brought up by the television and the computer because we don't have time for them. One meal with your child is priceless. People really are suffering because they don't spend time with their children. So the children don't know what's happening in the world. But you get up in the morning, inshallah, one of the blessings of Salah, you will see your children off. Inshallah, whether they go to school and whatever happens. What time is Salat al dhuhr Just after the zenith, you know, just after the zenith, when the sun is right at the top, just after it tilts off is Salat al dhuhr Amazing how the world has kept that time as lunch hour have you noticed that lunch hour so people say when is lunch hour you say similar to the time of Dhuhr. amazing look at the muslim allah did not inconvenience you from the morning right up to that time there are some voluntary prayers but there are no compulsory prayers so when you get to allah's meaning when you get to a higher level that allah would like you you know to achieve more and more you can offer voluntary prayers but if you have not yet got to that level at least you know that you know what it is now midday. Let me do something. What do you do? You make wudu. Wudu is ablution. This ablution with water. What does it do for you? It, your face is washed. Your hands are washed. Your feet are washed. You are fresh. You have wiped your head and so on. You are feeling good. That medically is proven to rejuvenate the individual at midday, just like it does at any other time rejuvenate you you're woken up you are refreshed again amazing you've washed your face with cold water we are looking at health blessings of salah